Welcome back to my channel. I'm Joe with Smoky Joe's Pit Barbecue. On today's video, I'm gonna be smoking up some delicious smoky chuck roast on my Yoder Y640 pellet smoker. Stay tuned. So I've got two gorgeous chuck roasts right here and I was looking at them and I am not going to be trimming anything off of these. Now this one right here, this big boy right here is three pounds and this one is two and a half pounds and they're both about two and a half, maybe two inches thick. Okay, so they're big boys that I'm starting off with. So the first rub that I'm using on these is this garlic jalapeno seasonal from Victory Lane Barbecue. This stuff is delicious. This is just a base layer. Now be careful if you have one of those Corona masks. I highly recommend that you wear one because this stuff makes you cough, okay? Man, that's a nice marbling. All right, so just a light layer. It's gonna add some really good flavor along with some jalapeno flavor. Nothing too hot. Get your sides. All right, so the second rub that I'm using on this smaller chuck roast is from Cattleman's Grill. This is their California tri-tip. And if you've never tried this, I highly recommend you give it a shot. It is so darn good. Not only is this rub good on tri-tip, but it's good on any big pieces of meat like this. Any steaks, maybe some picanha. Man, this stuff is delicious. As you can see, it's a really coarse rub, okay? Get the other side. Now these are really big pieces of meat. So don't be afraid to add enough rub. So these chuck roasts have really gone up in price recently. These are $5 a pound, versus your brisket is probably $3.29 for a prime. Now, the reason for that, for that price, is because a lot of people are cooking indoors, and a popular dish is a pot roast that most people cook inside of a crock pot, okay? Because it's cold outside. So in the winter, these are a little bit more expensive. In the summer, these go down in price. All right, so the second rub that I'm using on this bigger chuck roast right here, is this Smoky Texas Barbecue Rodeo Rub from PS Seasonings. And I gotta tell you, my buddy Ricer really swears by it. So I'm gonna be using it. This is the first time that I've used it. And it smells really good out of the jar, okay? Now this doesn't have a shaker, and that's okay because I need to apply enough of this because this is a big piece of meat, okay? Pat it in there. Grab the other side. And it's got a really good barbecue aroma coming from it. So this is gonna be good. All right, I'm gonna let these rest for about 25 minutes on my cutting board right here. Meanwhile, my smoker is getting up to 250 degrees. We'll see you guys outside, stay tuned. All right, we're outside of my Yoder Y640 pellet smoker. And again, I do have the smoker running at 250 degrees. Just gonna slide out the top shelf. Now the bigger chuck roast, I'm gonna put on the inside because it does get hotter close to the wall back here. Oh, look at this bad boy. Just right there. And here's our second chuck roast with the California tri-tip from Kettleman's Grill. All right, so I'm gonna give this about two hours without even opening the door. And by the way, I am using B&B pellets. This is their championship blend of pellets. It's my new favorite. It's got cherry, pecan, and post oak all in one pellet. So we'll see you guys in two hours. Stay tuned. All right, so we are at the two hour mark. Let's take a look at our chuck roast and see how we're doing. Oh, that's beautiful. You can see the chuck roast starting to separate right at the fat seams that you have. And that bark is definitely set. Okay, ooh, nice and juicy. Look at that. All right, so I'm gonna give this still another probably hour and a half, maybe two hours, but I do wanna get an internal temperature just for reference. 144 degrees on the bigger one there. And about 148 degrees on the smaller one, okay? So we're gonna check back in about an hour and a half. I'll bring you guys right back. Stay tuned. All right, so it's been four and a half hours. Let's take a look at the chuck roast. Now I have been spritzing the last hour with apple cider vinegar and water, makes it 50-50. And that bark is looking really good. It's not quite ready to be wrapped yet, okay? I'm gonna let more of that fat render and a little bit more bark build on the surface. And at this time, I'm gonna go ahead and crank up the temperature to 275 degrees. 
We'll come back in about another hour and a half. Stay tuned. All right, so it's been five and a half hours and I am going to go ahead and wrap our chuck roast. We've got some foil here. Let's slide this shelf out so you guys can see it a little bit better. There we go. So this is my California tri-tip. Look at that. Really nice bark, nice and juicy. And again, I have been spritzing with the apple cider vinegar and water. So I'm just gonna set it on the foil and wrap it up really nice and tight. Now I am gonna use some of the apple cider vinegar and water. Just spritz it. Get some of that in the foil. Wrap it nice and tight. And then here's our PS seasonings chuck roast. Again, nice and juicy. Look at that. Looking really nice. Okay, same thing. I'm gonna wrap it up in foil. Spritz some of the apple cider vinegar and water. Now these giant tongs that I'm using, these are from Dalstrong. If you wanna get yourself a set, check out the links below. Now I should have gotten an internal temperature before I wrapped it, but that's okay. There we go. We're sitting at 155 degrees, crazy. Kind of stalled out a little bit, right? So obviously wrapping it in foil is gonna speed up the cooking process. Just slide my shelf back in. We'll be back in about an hour and a half. Stay tuned. All right, so it's been seven and a half hours. Let's take a look at the check roast and get an internal temperature. All right, so first let's check the temperature here. All right, 204 degrees and it feels really tender. 205 degrees, okay. So these are temping really nice and probing really tender. So I'm just gonna take these out of the foil. All right, so what you wanna do at this point is just make a boat because I want that surface to dry up a little bit, okay? Looking really good. So I'm gonna let the surface dry out for about 30 minutes, then I'll pull them off. We'll see you guys inside. Stay tuned. All right, so the chuck roasts are ready and they have been resting for about 30 minutes and I did cover them in foil. So let's see what we got here. Look at this, man, it smells absolutely delicious in here, okay? So this is our PS seasoning, the Rodeo rub, and this is the California tri-tip rub right here on these chuck roast. So I'm gonna shred this in here with some of that juice, the au jus, like a lot of people call it. Just shred it in there. Now I'm gonna take off some of the heavier fat pieces as well. Because nobody wants to bite into a piece of fat, right? All right, so we got this one shredded up. That was our California tri-tip rub from Kettleman's Grill. And let's check out our PS seasoning. This is our rodeo rub. Oh yeah, this one's got a lot more juice in there. That's obviously because this was a bigger roast, okay? So let's just shred this one real quick as well. I don't know which one of these is letting off that aroma, but maybe it's a combination of both. But it smells absolutely delicious, okay? All right, I'm gonna finish shredding this one up. And I'll bring you guys right back. All right, let's see how I did on this smoked chuck roast. First, I'm gonna try this PS Seasonings Rodeo Rub. Just gonna grab you a nice big piece. And this is still really hot, so here we go. Mmm. So that chuck roast has a good beefy, smoky flavor. I gotta tell you, I'm really liking that rub. Next, I'm gonna try this California tri-tip. Just grab a handful here or a fingerful. Here we go. Mmm. So this chuck roast as well has an absolute delicious flavor. Two totally different flavors, but I gotta tell you, they both taste fantastic to me. I was gonna make a sandwich out of one of these, but I've got a surprise for you. Stay tuned. All right, so since I can't make up my mind on which chuck roast I think tastes better, I'm gonna make myself a sandwich and use a little bit of both. So here's our PS seasoning chuck roast. Now I did toast these buns. I put some Duke's mayo on there and toasted it. So just gonna put some of this one on here from PS seasoning. Whoa, look at that. Nice little mountain right there. And here's my California tri-tip seasoning from Cattleman's Grill. Just pile it up on top just like that. 
gonna make a really good sandwich. So I've got some onions right here, probably just a couple rings just like that. Smash that down. Let's add some barbecue sauce. Use whatever your favorite barbecue sauce is. Look at that. Let's give this a taste. Stay tuned. All right, let's give this monster pulled beef sandwich a try and see how we did with some onion, some barbecue sauce. There we go. Mm. Now that right there is a fantastic sandwich. You know, it's got a really good smoky flavor. Both of those meats combined with both of these rubs is fantastic. So if you've never smoked a chuck roast before, you've got to give it a shot. It's so full of flavor. It's unlike a brisket. Don't forget to check out all the links in the description box. There you're gonna find some of the items that I use in this video. If this is your first time here, hit the subscribe button. And if you have any questions, ask them down below. Until next time, Joe is Smoking Joe's Play Barbecue. See ya.